So actually, I had many questions, but uh, to tell you the truth, I I'm speechless. <laughs> so, <laughs> but, uh, Unfortunately, I am not, so stay. <laughs> Alexander, you were, you were with us yesterday. Yeah, I know you were really excited before the screening, so tell us how do you feel and... Uh, well, uh, I feel uh, almost the same as in Texas when we first showed the film. You know, it's a, it's a, it's an incredible experience to have something that that is so personal to you, shown to such an audience of people who are really, you know, uh, uh, deeply prepared to dive into it and to, to know to, uh, to receive this film in the most, uh, you know, honest way. And it, and it's a, it's a great honor for, for me. And I'm. I'm also speechless in a way, <laughs> you know. How about you, Sir John? Yeah. Well, I, I hope it was an interesting screening and uh, the audience was uh, satisfied. I know it was a, a pretty strong and powerful film, but I, uh, as I said in the, in the uh, uh, representing of the film, uh, I know that they will uh, understand it and uh, appreciate it. So nice. it's, a, it's a great experience. And did you? Vous aurez l'occasion de poser vos questions. Gardez les bien chauds. Maybe a question from me first. Um, you named the film a Serbian film. Now one can say that any movie that comes out of Serbia is a Serbian film. So uh, was there a suggestion here that this, is the this film can only... Serbian experience. Yes, this could only this come out of Serbia. This is the concentrated Serbian experience living, you know, for the last 30 years in Serbia. Uh -huh. This is it. You know, this is like a metaphorical way of saying this is our life for the past 30 lives, 30 years in Serbia. <laughs> it, it felt like 30 lives, you know. So could you tell us about the project? I mean, how did it start? And uh, how did you come with such an idea with a screenplay? And well, uh, all, all uh, of you. about, yeah, uh, about uh, four or five years ago, Alexander and I uh, sit down and wanted to, to make a film uh, uh, as honest uh, and as powerful as we, uh, as we can. Uh, and uh, the idea was to, to combine the, the our deepest uh, our deepest feelings and honest feelings with uh, with uh, uh, a kind of movies that we would like to make and would like to see. So that was the the beginning of, of everything. And it was also, of course, all inspired by our own emotions towards living in our own country for the for the whole for our whole lives and how deeply we feel violated you know not violated in the most literal way because there are some uh, there are some opinions then that if you want want to show something extreme if you want to for it to correlate to something real uh, you have to live through it like like you have to be you have to participate in a war in order to make a war film you know it's deeper than that this is a this is an expression of our psych, uh, psych psychological torture you know of what we deeply felt for the last 20 years or year of of uh, anger frustration being unable to express yourself in in the most normal way being unable to work in your own country being unable to express express the direct things we felt in the right way and it all had to you know in a cathartic way it, it had to go uh, it flow into this and explode it had to explode in a way in order to be free and expressed from from all the all the frustration there are not numerous and very various that we, that which are idea was that not to uh, we didn't plan to be uh, shocking or violent no, 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 it just happened it just, it just went happened from, we, we, from us, uh, yeah. Uh, we have to, if, if you're going to tell this kind of a story, you have to tell it in a certain way. You, you have to tell it uh, in a radical way. You have to really, uh, uh, you, you Sorry, cannot yeah. flinch. You cannot flinch. You have to be totally unflinching about it if you're going to make this kind of picture. You know, it's like uh, not, not only uh, it, it was, it was uh, uh, related to our own emotions, of our own personal and private emotions, about our own lives and actually to the to the film we were trying to make to the films we loved to the films we loved like a brutal honest films of the 70s like di di that direct kind of expression that was uh, 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 like the american cinema of the 70s which was post vietnam era this is in in a way our own post vietnam film this right. is our own post vietnam syndrome 
you know, it's like a, and that's why it's because uh, we didn't really have in our own uh, in our own national cinema we didn't have uh, uh, cases of such a, of a possibility to do such a strong film and and the, and and the, uh, you know the whole country deserved it it deserved to be painted in a, in the most honest way and to, to be shown creatively what was really you know like w what was really like living in Serbia for the past 20 years Maybe the executive producer, Nikola Pantelic, who can tell us a few words about the project and how it, it all happened. Yeah, well, uh, I was involved in a project uh, for maybe uh, half a year before the shooting, and I was managing all the stuff, you know, on pre-production, production, and post-production. And I prepared a little story uh, for, for you guys about our experience during post-production, you know. We had some deals with a uh, lab in uh, Germany, in Munich, to blow up the film because we shoot it on red digitally. And we made a deal with a uh, uh, lab called ARI in Munich uh, to print it. Yeah. So uh, we had a screening of our film to confirm whether it's okay with us or not. So we conferred. It was really excellent job done there. But, you know, we had some... Uh, guests on our screening. It was uh, mixed up with managers and lawyers and a whole bunch of stuff from their lab and police officer, even a, even a police officer who advised us that they're not going to do the job with us because they were a kind of afraid if we killed some people during our shooting. It was really ridiculous, you know, nope. an unbelievable experience. So uh, the policeman asked Srijan, uh, but how could you do it? It's, it's like you, you tortured a woman. You, and a surgeon told, but it, it was just a, how would I say, puppet. It's a puppet. It's not a real woman. No. She wasn't killed. No. And the policeman told him, but it doesn't look like a puppet. You know? <laughs> it was like you, uh, you unbelievable. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. So Ari Lab in Munich refused to deal with us. And um, that was really, you know, uh, interesting for us because they informed us that they are going to burn our copy, you know. So as Alexander wanted to say, burning films... Uh, burning films in Germany never goes out of style. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so that's what, that was my story. Right. You, you almost had a cannibal holocaust trial of your own there. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Yes, but, yes, but I don't think that Cannibal Holocaust was banned in the lab, you know. <laughs> it's like it was a little later. So how do you got the print that we saw today, by the way? Yes, we got uh, we got the print finally in s in one private lab in Hungary in in Budapest. But I have to mention, I have to mention a similar story that happened to us because we tried twice to do our print and we was twice refused, you know, to to print uh, after the print was already made. After the print was already made, yeah, of course. Another lab in Hungary, which is national lab in Hungary, also refused to work with us, even they were before warned, and we showed them the movie, they that they are going to, to blow it up, you know, and they were agreed, you know, we have agreement with them to do it, they, you know, say yes, and finally, they refused, because their general manager thought some ridiculous stuff about killing and something like that, so finally we, we finish our job in private lab, calling, it's called Fox Focus in in it called the official cinema in, in, in Hungary, in Budapest. And here we are. Um, before we go to the audience, maybe one little question um, about the character of Fukmir. Because I was watching the movie now, so the boss of the porn gang, of course. So I was watching the movie, and um, I cannot decide for myself whether he takes all his theories seriously or whether he is a total fraud who just lies. Uh, I do believe, though, that he has a—he's a kind of a seductive Faustian devil. Um, yeah, he of is course. certainly um, he makes beautiful images when you, <laughs> although they are very violently. So, um, yeah, how do you explain that character to us? Well, uh, Wokmir is a, what do you like to say, like a, a devil, convinced the world that he doesn't exist. So, uh, uh, 
uh, yeah, uh, the, the Wukmir is, uh, he's a very uh, peculiar character that is uh, really characteristic to Serbia because he really believes in some way in what he's doing. And, and it's like the last resort for him. Imagine him as an artist who, who wasn't, uh, you know, uh, like who wasn't able to express himself in Serbia. And then he was like, uh, you know, he was recruited to do such things such atrocities in a national security way. And of course, and then he, uh, he in his own childish, you know, like uh, uh, inspiration, he was, uh, you know, running wild with it. And he was, he was like living in his own world. But he was actually, but, but he, he be believed in the Serbian product and he was actually another victim manipulated by the higher power you see at the end. You know, it's like he, he, even he is a victim. You know, he is a, once creative person now, uh, you know, uh, manipulated and, and you know, uh, uh, like ma he, he was made a victim. I see. Well, many people have come to the screening tonight. I mean, we, I don't think we've ha had many midnight movies with such a big audience. And to the Q&A. And many people have come to the Q&A, so there must be many questions. Uh, the microphone is yours. Allô voilà. Je vais poser la question en français. Alors, bon, on a écouté toutes vos explications hein, par rapport euh, aux cris de rage que la Serbie veut, veut lancer au monde, enfin, tout ce que vous voulez essayer de faire comprendre. Euh, Est-ce que vous ne craignez pas, après le passage de la censure, que, cette, que ce message disparaisse ou enfin, qu'on qu ne comprenne plus que vous, ce que vous voulez expliquer au monde. So we heard about uh, the message that you, uh, about all your explanation about the anger in, uh, in the movie. And the question is, aren't you afraid that after censorship, well, the, it won't be the same, the message will not be the same and the movie will be different. But you saw the complete movie. You know, it's like uh, about the censorship. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's like uh, we, uh, we had to make the movie we made. You know, we had to uh, make the, this is the absolute director's cut. You know, and uh, we didn't really think uh, that hard about censorship and about uh, all that. We didn't, pay, we didn't pay attention to it. It wasn't like a calculated effort. You know, it was uh, like we had to express what we had to express. And, and we did it in the, the, the only way possible for us to make it. So, so it's, uh, it's already, the film already lives because you, you have seen it. You know, the film is already there because you have seen it and you cannot unsee it. And then a film can be cut, film can be cut down, censored, or what do I know? But you saw it, you saw the real version, you know, it exists. Are you dedicated to get the movie out in its uncensored form? Are you dedicated to get the movie out in its uncensored form? So, or are you willing to cut it? <laughs> of course, that's the that's the thing that we hope yes. to do. But uh, you know, who knows what will happen in the future? So, okay, we'll just have to see it. Okay. Any other questions? Prendre le micro. Candice n'est pas là pour le micro. Allume, allume. Alors, euh, qu'en est-il de l'édition DVD française qu'on attend tous avec euh, grande impatience Édition DVD en français. So, will there be a DVD version released soon around here yeah, we, well, hope so. we hope so, but uh, it's not going to be soon. We are still fighting for a theatrical release, and who knows what will happen with that. And only after that, we are going for the How DVD. How is that going, by the way well, we, we have uh, uh, many offers from around the world. Uh, Nikola is maybe the, the better man to, to yeah, the tell main about goal, it. Uh, the main goal right now is to, to promote our film uh, on a festival like this one and to make it internationally uh, a very great buzz about this movie because there is a potential. <laughs> it's, it's, ob it's obvious. So, uh, uh, and we think that we can uh, make... Uh, some efforts about about that and then to release it theatrically if it's possible 
I hope so. In some countries we will do it. And then uh, it will be some DVD, Blu-ray releases of this, of this film. It is, it is certainly, but I, I, cannot, I cannot have any prediction about that when will it happen. I just, I just wanted uh, to say one thing, and I think it's very important for us, because uh, a Serbian film, this film, is a completely independent film in Serbia. This film has got no subsidies from our country, from Ministry of Culture, uh, neither from any other fund from, uh, from Serbia, so that is something that we are a kind of proud of. Yeah. Okay. And there were already a few screenings, like, uh, this is not the first screening, I guess, so how did the audiences react? No, uh, this is the European premiere. This is European premiere? European premiere, yes. Okay. And we had uh, the first screening in, uh, in Texas, in Essex SW, oh, okay. South by Southwest. That was uh, our, uh, in Austin, yeah, our uh, world premiere. And we were very surprised uh, with the reaction of the audience who really uh, understood movie and uh, received it in the right way. And we had uh, many uh, reviews in a I don't know, after the, the first screening in the next 10 days, we had the 30, 30 reviews uh, yeah, on the sites and uh, 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 who the, was the important man, so the, uh, Harry Knowles. Uh, Harry Knowles from Ain't It Cool News, yeah. uh, which is based in Austin. We had uh, incredible, uh, you know, like uh, incredible reactions. And, uh, Drew we are McCarthy and Todd Brown. Drew yes. McQueenie. McQueenie, yep. Drew McQueenie, known as Moriarty, awesome. Harry Knowles from Ain't It Cool News and Quint from also from Ain't It Cool News. We were surprised actually. We thought, uh, we thought the film is going to, you know, provoke uh, harder reactions in, in a way that we were, you know, we, we were ready for everything and we were really surprised by the... the we, <laughs> we haven't been prepared for this. <laughs> we were like prepared to know, like to defend ourselves. You know? From tomatoes. <laughs> yeah. 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 Any reactions out of Serbia itself? Uh, although the movie obviously is not really showing there well, yet. Uh, of course, the movie hasn't been shown in Serbia yet. Uh, we still don't have the uh, distributor in Serbia. And uh, only reactions in Serbia are uh, based on the trailer. Mm -hmm. And uh, there is, of course, uh, different kinds, kinds of the reactions, you know, and good ones and bad ones. And, but that's not the, you know, the... Uh, that's not the point. No point, nego. Uh, that's not, that's not really, really something that's accountable, you know, yeah. that it's not, it's you, can, like a, you cannot judge like about, you a, about the trailer, you know, uh, so uh, that's, it's like that's the main a, point. People, people in Serbia are very defensive about it because, because it's, a, it's called a Serbian film. Uh, the people in Serbia are afraid that they going to identify Serbian people with certain horrors. And they, know, they do not uh, know what are they defending. And they, they do not know what are they defending. You know, and it's uh, about it's really it's really more of a reaction to the title of the film. It's a reaction to, the, to to its name and not to its content. You know, it's like a, you can in Serbia and anything goes in in, in, in tight, You know, like content. But you can you can sh you know it's like a, they wouldn't have a problem with the content only with a certain name which it identifies them to, but it isn't really identification it's only it it's shows what it means to be in serbian in a way to be to live in serbia you know and it's a uh, more of a reaction of of uh, what have you done to our lives what have you done to our country you know what what, what have you done to any anything you've done in the last 20 years or so but when the, the the movie starts like it says a serbian film and then your version of serbian film this is the the first image is like original yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like yeah. Uh, what what a real Ser serbian person uh, imagines a serbian film to be like and the music and everything you know it's like a it's, it's like a, it's like a two sides of the pro you, you have the Serbian product that they're tar trying to pull you know the, the mainstream Serbian media is trying to pull this product you see the first title yeah. and then the real title goes you know you, it's something something that goes beyond beyond the real title it's this it's the, like the second stream you know you have the first stream and then you have the second stream like the idea behind it is what you actually see in the movie Encore des autres questions Peut-être. Rap oui. okay, rapprochez Tiens. simplement si vous voulez. Voilà le, le micro. Mm -hmm. 
First of all, I think if you censor the movie, you can enter it in some short film competitions because there will only be half an hour <laughs> left. Um, what I was wondering, um, uh, here at the festival, we often see a lot of movies that use a lot of gruesome images, a lot of uh, very explicit images, but we don't often see that they serve the story as well as uh, your images did. So how long did you spend editing the movie and get the pacing right and actually make them serve the story and make the story and, and use them to make the story more powerful at the correct intervals because if you if you cut it wrong it, it uh, the film the film was really precisely storyboarded really precisely written and really precisely shot you know we had everything planned and everything went according to plan yeah of course uh, we had a, uh, it's a, it's a very difficult movie to to, to plan and, and shoot, so we had to be strictly uh, uh, planning everything. So uh, editing was just you know uh, uh, of course uh, uh, many new things showed up in the editing, but uh, everything was uh, uh, already uh, 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 planned, and we knew what are we going to do at with, at the editing. Ironically, it's a very beautiful film to watch, in a way. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, you could have chosen a different style. You could have chosen the style of a real snuff movie with a lot of shaking cameras. Well, yes, as I said previously, uh, as I said previously, the first idea was to combine uh, uh, our idea and our deeper fe fe feelings with the uh, with the uh, uh, movies and, and uh, a style that we liked and that we want to make and that we would like to watch. So that was the the main idea. So. You know, it's the, why would you show, you know, it's, it's kind of trendy, showing everything in, you know, shaky cam and all that. We're, we're not really communicating strongly to that, you know. We really love, love the movies of the 70s and 80s that have that, uh, you know, some kind of sophisticated style to it. Why don't you, you can, you can show the most uh, gruesome thing and make it, uh, in a way, fascinating, beautiful. You know, not glamorize it, but make it as enjoyable as it can. That's the, uh, that, that kind of style, uh, ki kind of, uh, uh, you know, like, it's like true style. You have a, you have really a, a, re a relation to what, what you are watching on the screen. It's not just like documentary depiction of it, which is kind of, you know, uh, personless, but, but, but this is uh, like you have a statement also while showing it in a certain way, you know, so, so we think it's much deeper than what is trendy today and what is trendy, we know what is trendy, you know, we, we're just trying to now, uh, now, now, now it's uh, more original to do tradition, film in the style of traditional movie making than you're doing it in a shaky game style and you know all that. Okay. Anybody else? Go ahead, Dirk. Um, just as Frank said, I thought the movie looked great. The production values were really high. There was a great color correction throughout. So obviously the know-how is present in Serbia. How are you gonna use that know-how in the future? Are you gonna use it for a different style of cinema as well? Or are you gonna try to do something different? Not yeah, but you know, if, uh, if you're really uh, uh, up to do something and you really believe in, 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 uh, in your idea, uh, and of course you need uh, uh, some kind of uh, knowledge and energy and everything, so anything could be done. Uh, in Serbia, there are not lots of movies that uh, uh, can show uh, this kind of quality, uh, but that's uh, mainly because uh, there is no... Uh, 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 too many brave people to to go. Yes. You know, the, to, uh, there to are no strong a, ideas a, behind in, in, in it. Industry, uh, yeah. You know, it's a, it's a uh, you know almost a prerogative to make your film as un unattractive as it can get, so you can uh, you know like attract some major festivals. You know, it's a it's like uh, uh, 
you don't have that kind of you you have a you have great people in Serbia in terms of uh, you know like filmmaking you have uh, you have people who are able to do almost anything only uh, their uh, abilities are not needed so much you know they're like uh, wasting it on commercials and stuff like that to some comedies on TV TV shows and it's uh, really not something that is uh, you know expected to be done in in this kind of project you know and also about uh, what, what you said about the budget or about the production values uh, this is uh, this this is actually a very very much low budget film this is uh, this is almost in a in terms of uh, of our, our own uh, national production it's be below standards of certain uh, Nicola is now going to <laughs> yeah. say something. Maybe I could say something about this. Yeah, uh, there is a production value of this film, and you notice it well. And there are some people in Serbia who know how to realize it. But the point of uh, staging the production of this film was uh, very radically strict, because it was uh, planned very strictly, and it was realized managed and directing, directed very, very strictly. There, there, there were no compromise about uh, production and directing of force and screenwriting. But if you want to realize this kind of movie, you have to be very, very precise. Of course, there are a lot of people in Serbia who know how to realize it. We are, we are grateful to our crew. Our actors are very, very good, they're great. Uh, director of uh, photography, music composer, uh, whole crew was really great. Uh, but the main thing about this film is all about planning and man managing in a very strict, direct way. Yeah. About the crew, um, thinking about some other really violent movies, I know that um, when Dario Argento directed his do do daughter, Asia Argento, in the Stendhal Syndrome, there were some tears involved during the making of the rape scenes. Um, I know from the commentary of um, I Spit on Your Grave, the 1980s exploitation film, that some people of the crew simply left, that they simply walked out because it was too violent for them. So uh, could you tell us something about how did you make it comfortable for your actors to do these scenes? What kind of relation do you have with your actors, um, which I suppose should have must have been well, based uh, pretty First trust, of all, we, we were uh, very lucky that every uh, actor in, uh, in the movie was our first choice. Mm -hmm. And uh, those actors are uh, the greatest one in Serbia, and they are uh, uh, very famous, of course, and the biggest star in Serbia. And, and did we the were actors know about the screenplay before shooting? Of course, shooting? of course, yeah. Of course, uh, 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 we were lucky that they uh, understood. No, no Samir, understood. it's just like in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> they just showed up and yeah, they didn't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, we were really lucky uh, that uh, they understood uh, the idea completely and they believed in the, the idea of the Serbian film. So everything uh, was uh, pretty smooth, you know. Uh, every shooting uh, has its own problems, so, so did we. But uh, everything was uh, going as planned and everything was pretty great. And uh, when you mentioned uh, uh, Argento and uh, his yes. daughter, yeah, uh, the girl in the movie, uh, Jeca, uh, she's my uh, uh, sister, from aunt sister. Is that correct? Uh, Health sister. Health sister, 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 yeah, cousin sister, yeah. Uh, uh, so, yeah, that's one of the things, yeah. Similar. Yes. And, but no tears involved in your case. You know, no, no tears. Uh, uh, you know, there is a dogma that uh, that uh, is, uh, you know, the director has to be secretive and manipulative and to manipulate his actors. You know, it's it's uh, f in, from my experience, from our experience, it's quite the opposite. You have to be totally honest to the actors and to the crew. You have to put everything on the table. You know, like say it, and 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 if they if they go with it, if they really communicate to what we are trying to do, and they did, yeah. They're they're prepared to do almost anything if you if you're honest with them. I mean, it's amazing. You're a first-time director with a low budget, and you get all these great actors from Serbia. Well, as I said, uh, they believed in in idea of the Serbian movie and uh, Serbian film, and they uh, agreed with everything, and they uh, uh, sympathized with everything. So that's the that's the main point. They understood everything, and they felt. As, as we did, and then they wanted to do a movie like this. They understood but the, the problem. You know, yeah, they course, communicated with the problem. They have the same problems. You know, they have the same problems. They understand it. Yeah. 
But at the same time, there uh, is not a lot of uh, opportunities for, for yeah. actors in yeah. Serbia. To so do something really so challenging. So, yeah, yeah. Th this is very challenging for them, so they accept in a first read. You know, so that was the reason. If no, him on the vrach. A question? I think there were other questions. Now, let's put it. Yeah. The mic is here. You have to just. For the light, please. Just the light. Turn it on. Oui, euh, ça. en fait, euh, vous parlez de l'expérience de tournage et tout ça, et tout ça. Et, euh, mais comment c'est expliquer ce que c'est ce que la scène de tournage pour un enfant euh, comment, parler, euh, de, comment lui transmettre en tant que réalisateur les, les, les demandes d'expressivité pour euh, interpréter ces, ces, ces scènes quoi. Ouais, ça, ça. So during the shoot of the movie, how did you work with the kid How did you explain to him Yeah, of course, it's a great question. Mm. First of all, of course, uh, uh, the kids were not involved in a, in a, in a scenes. They were in participating. The yeah, in, you know? they were participating in. So they were always shooted uh, alone at the at the at the scene, at at the set. Yeah. So uh, there was a thing called editing that <laughs> gave us. <laughs> yeah. It, it was magical. Gave magical, you gave you the impression that, yeah. that they are in yeah, the scene, so, but they're yeah, actually not it. in the scene. You yeah. know, it's like. Uh, so uh, concerning the the little girl, uh, little girl that was my sister, she's uh, uh, she was uh, uh, ten at the time, yeah. so she pretty much understood uh, what are we going to do there. Uh, but of course, uh, she understood that uh, she won't be participated uh, with the other actors in the scene. Uh, concerning the, the younger boy, uh, we had a, a director who was uh, working with the kids, especially. So he always uh, made some kind of a game for him to uh, uh, to make him to participate in, yeah, in, 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 the, in the scene. So. Scene, yeah. So we had director who directed, you know, the kid yes, and yes. and false, you know, whole, you know, uh, directing for especially for for that one because uh, all this that that particular kid. It's almost kid like, boy, a, yeah. like a green screen in green Hollywood screen, movies. You know, actors movies, react whatever. to something that isn't there. You know, like. How how did they like the makeup they had to wear? Uh, who who? Uh, the kids. Kids. Yes. Kids. Well, there is a some no. Well, some. Yeah. For, uh, It's yeah. a phone. It Peter was Pan, Pan, Peter was Pan and Alice in Wonderland. Them, yeah. it, was it was a part them, of a yeah. game, actually. Yeah. You know, we the figured some game, games yeah. how it would be interesting in that scene. Okay. Anybody else? We have a question. Can you inspire him today? <laughs> I would love to see the movie get reviewed on Fox. Uh, they thought that the green zone was satanical, so I'd love to see what they think, uh, what they think of your movie. Um, there's, there's one scene in particular I think was uh, breaking a lot of taboos, which is where, where they actually uh, raped the newborn baby. So was there anyone who said, maybe this is a bad idea, let's not do it, or anyone who said, well, I'm not sure about this, or did, I, did everyone just say, oh, let's do it, go ahead, that's okay. a great idea. Okay, which, which sick bastard came up with the idea of newborn porn? <laughs> uh, I have to go for a second, I will be back later. <laughs> uh, uh, just no, the, the point of, the, uh, of that scene is uh, uh, it's a really a drawing of a literal metaphor how we deeply feel uh, violating and... Uh, and uh, uh, how do you say? Uh, 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 surgeon, yeah. surgeon came with that idea <laughs> and I named it. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. like was... Uh, but, yeah, but the point what is, the, the point is the real uh, metaphor about how we feel and how we deeply feel violated, and uh, uh, the you know baby represents us. It's like a, ca car a caricature of our own feelings. You know, like you draw how you feel. Okay. Exactly. You know. uh, this is a good moment maybe to ask you. Um, given your ages, you must have been in your late teens, maybe early twenties, when the regime of Milosevic was brought down by the students' movement. So. Um, well, and uh, student movement and everything around it. Um, can you tell us about your memories about that time? And perhaps maybe even if it influenced uh, the movie? But probably there were some influence, but you know, uh, I cannot give uh, uh, myself diagnosed, so that probably was uh, 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 lots of influence 
well, of it. So what, what happened to you in those di in those uh, years? Well, Where were you? The what thing is, nothing special. I, I you know, I, I w uh, were not uh, participating in war. I wasn't uh, wounded or, or anything else. But uh, uh, we all uh, uh, felt that uh, situation uh, strongly, and uh, we were really, you know, uh, uh, hit by it. So uh, I think that uh, all those uh, uh, situations uh, uh, really. Uh, uh, you know, it's like, a, us, yeah, it's like uh, growing up in that atmosphere is definitely something else. You know, it's like, like you're a little kid and you have all those things happening around you. You know, like suddenly there is this unexplicable war and what is happening and it goes on and on. There's a part one, part two, part three, like die hard with a vengeance, you know, and then all that and it's impossible you know the, what really was was the 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 after effect of all those things on our own lives you know it's like a uh, you being unable as you grow up to do what you really want to do with your life being totally unable being totally blocked out mm -hmm. you know that's that's the that's the real inspiration for this film you know like the after effect of what is, what was happening not the happening itself on va peut-être vous demander si quelqu'un a encore une question. C'est le moment. Uh, Melo, first, my congratulations for the movie. Uh, I wanted to know if we have well understood that you put your guts on the table and in the film. Um, these feelings that you shared in this movie are probably shared by a lot of Serbians of your age. And I wanted to know, although the film wasn't uh, screened in Serbia, if you met people, that since they shared these feelings could have told you, okay, we would have done it in this way. This means something for us. P people from Serbia, do you meet any of them that would uh, really say, okay, that movie speaks to us as Serbian, as sharing these feelings, this anger and so on? It's again a bit the question of the reaction of the Serbian audience on the film. Not, not necessarily audience, but okay, Serbian people who would share this feeling, this anger also. Okay, do you think that the other people in Serbia will share these uh, feelings after they see and your I movie in the future? I wanted to know if you met actually someone. Did you meet Serbian? somebody who shared those feelings? Of course we did. It's, you okay. know, uh, the most of people so share our feelings, of course. Crew, the yeah. whole crew shared our feelings. Yeah. You know, it's it's, like as we said the, uh, lately, you know, the whole crew and the, the, the actors, you know, you, every, everyone, everybody understand the, the idea. Uh, my they're going to, some people are going to understand it, but some are not going to like it. You know, it's it's understandable. You know, it's like a, a even they they, uh, they they will dislike it more as more more they understand it actually. But your question? Okay, well that was basically this point. If someone that you met would be able to say, okay, this was a form I would have put this film if I had to do it. Somebody would not be connected in in a way in any way. Sorry to the film industry, but they would say, okay, this form, this shape, these pictures. This is exactly what I would put in a film if I were at your place, basically. Oh, so it's more like if somebody who is not related to the movie in any way would have ever said to you, but this is indeed... Th this is a potential because... How I would express my feelings too if I would make a movie. Okay, how would you express your feelings? <laughs> I, 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 you know, I was this film lucky not to release in Serbia. Serbia. Yeah. That's for the every first person, information. For every order is a different shape of things. You know, it's like a, uh, you sh we, had to, we had to shape it in a very extreme fashion. Mm -hmm. You know, because this is, you know, like the essence of it. This is the, like the, 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 the unpleasant essence of it. And, and it had to be shown in an unpleasant way. You know, it's like a, it's inevitable. We believed in it. We believed that the people will understand, the people will surely understand the people in Serbia. Uh, but the question is, are they going to like it? You know, every, every person has a different shape in its mind of what it's supposed to be, Serbia. What, what are their problems? What are they? But I, I don't think they will be able to in, deny it, really. No, he meant. Quelqu'un d'autre? Une dernière question?
Okay, so now your film exists. Uh, do you have the feeling that it could help some other directors to exp in your country to express themselves more radically in the future? Well, <laughs> I, I really hope so, in not, not just in our country, but uh, as I said in the uh, representing the movie, uh, uh, even if uh, some people uh, think and believe that there is uh, a new wave uh, in Serbia, unfortunately, unfortunately, I think it's a, a not say accidental way, but it's already a past because I really think that we will not be uh, uh, will not uh, have a opportunity to make anything uh, as po uh, as powerful as, as this one again in Serbia or unfortunately anywhere else but i really hope that uh, that uh, the authors around the world will uh, uh, will uh, again encourage and believe in their own ideas you know we already have a life and death of a porn gang mladen's film which is uh, kind of uh, trying to express express some similar things you know and uh, uh, it's uh, it's like we are this wave, uh, mm -hmm. and we hope, of course, there, there are other filmmakers in Serbia who are unable to make their own films. You know, they want to make something, you know, totally, uh, something totally honest and something totally, you know, direct and, and brutal, but, but it's, uh, they're being, you know, like, uh, 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 it's impossible to get funding for, for such yeah, you pictures. Know, uh, one thing is uh, when you said to someone, uh, believe in your idea, uh, uh, don't make compromise, go to the end. And the other uh, thing is uh, when those people uh, 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 hit the wall, you know, where, uh, where's the money, where's the fundings, where the producers, so it's, uh, it's a pretty hard thing. People lose, lose really confidence in themselves, lose courage, lose, you know, it's like a, you, you give up, you know, you're just, why don't I do more TV shows, more comedies, you know, I put food and money on the table and, um, what does it matter? You know, I'll be happy man. I live in a, you know, some kind of my ca uh, country of my own imagination. You know, and you lose contact with, of my own. <laughs> you lose contact with reality. Really, uh, and then there, uh, it's uh, it's really tough to make a film in Serbia. You know, it's not easy, and and if people people are very, you know. Uh, it's understandable that people will lose, you know, lose faith in what are what are they really thinking and doing. Okay, maybe one more question from the audience, if anybody has one. Well, you know where the mic is. No. Well, maybe let's finish like this. I um, I disagree with your pessimism. <laughs> I I, I no, think because you're not Serbian. You know. uh, well. <laughs> Yeah, well, I, I do know that Serbs tend to celebrate their, their, really their defeats more than their victories. But... Uh, <laughs> no, it's a philosophy of defeat, you know, uh, okay. like a I think this, I think your movie is going to take off uh, more yeah, than you think. We show the optimism, no, yes. you know, not pessimism, with, uh, with uh, the following idea and the bravery to, to do it, so... Right, you know. right. But the reality so, is... You know, the, there's a, a film contains some things that had to be shaken off. Yeah, like you have to wash yourself. Uh -huh. You know, you have to, you have to really, you know, wash yourself, cut your hair, uh -huh. shave. You know, it's it's like something that hasn't been done in our country. Right. You know, it's like a, it's it all because it hasn't been done. It's all concentrated in this one film, so it explodes. You know, it's too much, too much for people to take, and that's the point. You know, because yeah. it, it, when somebody hasn't been washed for what about three years. That that bet is going to be a long and torturous one. Okay. Well, what can what, uh, what 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 can we wish you guys now? Yeah. What can we? What do you expect for future? What can we wish you? <laughs> <laughs> of course. Why, why not? Next one. Sequel. No, why not? Uh, sequel. Yeah. Sequel. Sequel. <laughs> Huh. Is <laughs> or, or prequel. Sequel is or called prequel. Croatian okay. film. Is there any producers in the in the crown? For the sequel. Film? Thanks. Uh, uh, uh. No, seriously, um, uh, imagine that you would be able to do exactly what you want as your next film. What would it be? Well, that's a real uh, hard question. You know, uh, there are always uh, ideas and the scripts. You know, we we have a few ideas and a few scripts in the in the draw. So, who knows what will uh, happen in the future? I have a few ideas, definitely. Really? Have Anything ideas. you can already share? Mm, not okay. quite. No. <laughs> still, still together. Like you plan to work on together. Well, that would be the best thing, but who knows, you know. 
Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Who knows? What could happen? Okay. Yeah. Okay, but we'll leave it at that. Okay. So, Jean, um, okay, we'll thank you very example. much. So, cette fois-ci, je crois que tantôt j'ai oublié de citer leur nom. Donc, cette fois-ci, ça va être fait. <laughs> Nikola Pantelic, executive producer. Serjan Spasojevic, réalisateur. Alexander Radivojevic, scénariste. I hope. On les remercie beaucoup. Thank you guys very much. Thanks again, folks. Une Thanks petite again. séance de signature avec euh, l'Évangile selon Saint Freddy. Vous pouvez venir sign faire signer vos papiers. Just a few. All the graphs, yes, I know.